When this case landed in your lap, what were your first thoughts about what may have happened to her? My thoughts were that Jennifer was able to get ready for work that Tuesday morning from the evidence found in her condo. It looked as if she had gotten ready for work. There was a damp towel in the shower and probably make it down the stairs. Jennifer Cassie was just 26 years old when she vanished. She lived in Orlando and was headed to work. Surveillance video shows her walk into her car on the morning of January 24th, 2006. Jennifer would never be seen or heard from again. She could have been abducted right there in her car and taken away without anybody seeing her. Later that morning, a call to Jennifer's parents. She had not shown up to work. We had asked the manager to please go down and see if Jennifer's car was in her parking spot. Oh, okay. And he went down and he says, no, there's, there's no car. That's when her parents knew something was wrong. Jennifer's brother rushed over to her condo and noticed two men in a van. Construction workers were reportedly on site and may not have understood English. Her brother then approached them. Hey, have you seen this girl? Do you know where this girl is? Who's the girl lives there? Hanging on the glass. Hey, guys, do you know the yelling? You know, and they're just not paying attention to me. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing. So I'm like, this is weird. Those workers that were there, it was it's not the way you act, personally. If something, you know, if, if somebody's missing. It's been 14 years since she disappeared, and while the case has gone cold, her family has never given up hope. Nothing has changed for me since day one. It, I think it's the workers that were there. And then those guys disappeared, disappeared.